hello guys to fix this error the first step is to go to services.msc or you can type in services in windows search box and then go to services and then find this ipsec policy agent make a double click you can set this to automatic click on start if start is highlighted and then click on apply click on ok now make a right click and then click on restart now find this iken authorization ip ipsec key modules make a double click again you can set it to automatic click on start if highlighted and then click on apply click on ok and with this selected make a right click then click on restart and once that is done now you can check that should fix fix it this has worked for many uh, users so it might work for you still you are facing the problem next step is to start ik ikeext windows service now for this type in cmd in windows search box so type in cmd and then make a right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key and then you can check the next step is to look at your vpn settings and you may have protocol microsoft chap selected so instead you can select pap and this has also worked for many users so it might work for you if that does not work you can switch back to protocol microsoft if this is default so try this still you're receiving the error in that case the next step is to connect to a different wi-fi network and then you can try to connect to your office wi-fi or try to connect to a different wi-fi network and then try to connect your vpn and then if and then try to connect your vpn and then you can try to connect vpn with the original wi-fi network now the next step is to log into your computer as an administrator and then open device manager make a right click on the start menu and then open device manager expand network adapter so expand network adapter now over here you can see all the wan mini ports so you can make a right click and then click on uninstall all you have to uninstall all the wan mini port so let me uninstall it now once you have uninstalled all the wan mini port now go to action and then click on scan for hardware changes and it will reinstall all the wan mini port once again and once this is reinstalled now restart your computer and after the system restart you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel